Okay, here we just have some uh, kind of definitions, derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. So for the first uh, couple, we have b has to be greater, greater than zero and b cannot equal one. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Again, we've seen that one before, not a problem. Now here, this is a new one. And so notice this is e to the x. This one is b to the x. So there's a difference here. When we have something b to the x, what the uh, derivative of that is, is it's going to be the same thing, b to the x, but then we also have to take l and a b. Now if we do that with this, think if, if this was what we had to do, what we've done then, d dx of e to the x, if we rewrite it here, well that's e to the x, ln of e, oops, ln of e, well ln of e is 1, and so that's x, and so that's why we get this. So this, if you remember this formula and you forget this one, that would help you because no matter if it's e or b, when you plug it in, when you get that e there, that goes to 1, and so we just have e to the x. So that's kind of a, a nice one to know. Now for b greater than 0 and b not equal to 1 and x greater than 0, then we have the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. We just saw that one a little bit ago. We showed that one. And if we have the derivative of log base b of x, well, that's going to be 1 over ln of b. Again, we're just taking whatever that base is. And times 1 over x. Okay. So, <clears throat> again, can this work for the e's? Well, yeah, because if we have d dx of log base e of x, which is also known as ln of x, so these are the same thing, just written different ways, that's going to equal 1 over ln of e e, and then times 1 over x, ln of e is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, and so this whole piece goes to 1, so it's 1 times 1 over x, which is 1 over x, and so again, this one really will give you this one, so if you remember this one, you can get, you know, either log base e or log base whatever b the value is here, so that works both ways. All right, so let's look at some problems here. We're looking for more derivatives. And so for the first one, we want g prime of x of this. Well, this one is pretty easy. You would just use the power rule. So that's going to be 10x to the ninth. Okay. Now this one's going to be plus. Now this is some base to the x, so b to the x. So if you remember over here, if we have a b to the x, we have to use b to the x times l and a b. So that's going to be 10 to the x, and then ln of 10. And while we could calculate and see what that is, we're just going to leave as that for now. We're just going to say, well, that's just the ln of 10. And that would be our solution. All right, what about this one? g prime of x. All right, now we have log base 2, log base 5. And so what we have to do is we have to use the second formula. We have to use this one. Log base 2 and 5, so it's going to be 1 over ln of b times 1 over x. So we're going to have 1 over ln of 2 times 1 over x. And then we're going to have minus 6 times. And then it's going to be 1 over ln of 5 times 1 over x. Now I could simplify you know, more, and I'm going to do that here in a little bit. But when you're writing it out, just kind of put each piece here. And remember, that's all multiply. You know, that's multiply. And so when I look at this, I see 1 over x is common in both of those. So I could pull out 1 over x to start with, and then I could simplify what's left over. Well, that's going to be 1 over ln of 2. And this one is just going to be minus 6 over ln of 5. Now, we could calculate these numbers and, and actually get a number, but then it's not going to be uh, precise because we'll have decimal places that we're going to round to. So if we leave it as this, that would be our best solution at that point. What about this one? Okay, well, there's an example for, and there's a store, and it also sells reversible fleece blankets. So if the price-demand equation <clears throat> for a reverse fleece blanket is P equals 200 times 0.998 to the power X, find the rate of change of price with respect to demand when the demand is 400 blankets, and then interpret our results. All right, so what we want to do is we need to find what P prime is here. All right, so P prime is equal to what? Well, 200, that's just a constant. Now, this is a B to the X, so that's going to be times a 0 0.998 to the X 
times the ln of b, which is 0 0.998, okay? Now, can we simplify that? Well, we could, but uh, we'd have to multiply this out and or take the ln and multiply it by 200 and do that. So this one probably at this point in time is the most exact answer we could do. Um, if they said, okay, do it to three decimal places, then you could take those two, multiply them together, and then it would be out in front of 0.998 to the power x. But it just, it doesn't sell, it tell us to do that, so we'll leave it there. But it does say, what is the demand when it's 400 blankets? Well, so that means we want to find P prime of 400. All right, so that's then what we're going to have to find. And we'll type that into our calculator. And what do I have? Oh, that's ln. Uh, so that looks like 1 minus, but it's ln. All right, so if we do that in our calculator, we have the 200 times, and we had 0.998 to the power, and we were doing 400 blankets. Lower the power back down, and then we'll multiply by the ln, of 0.998 and so we get a negative 0.1796 and so on so let's write that down uh let's just say that's equal to a negative uh 0 0.18 and we'll just we'll just leave it at that that's 179 something but we'll leave it as 118 and so now it says interpret all right well uh uh at 400 blankets The price is what? Well, it's going down, decreasing. Oops. At the rate of. Now, this is going to be in dollars, it looks like. If I remember what the, the problem for was, it's dollars, which is 0 0.18 per blanket. And so that would be what they're doing. When, when you have this, it's 400 blankets, the price is decreasing at the rate of $0.18 uh, dollars per blanket. All right, so let's stop there and we'll come back for more.